Well, the tricuspid valve is effectively the doorway into your heart and it lets venous blood into your heart from the upper body, your head and neck and from the legs. In tricuspid valve regurgitation, the valve doesn't close properly. So as the heart contracts, instead of all the blood traveling forwards through to the lungs to be oxygenated, some of it travels backwards and that increases the pressure in the veins of your upper body and your legs. Well, some patients may just feel that they're getting older, but these symptoms could be due to a heart valve condition that we can treat in really even very elderly patients. So if people of any age notice a substantial change in what they can do and it doesn't feel right, then they should seek medical advice. But typically patients with tricuspid valve regurgitation present with swollen legs, a swollen stomach, maybe kidney failure, or the symptoms can be very nonspecific, such as fatigue, breathlessness, chest tightness and dizziness. Tricuspid regurgitation is often associated with other cardiac conditions, so people presenting may have a history of mitral or aortic valve disease or heart attacks or other cardiac conditions. It's unusual to have isolated tricuspid valve disease, but that can happen. By the time people become symptomatic, the valve disease is often very advanced, so our message to the general practitioner is don't leave it too late to refer these patients. Even if patients are not symptomatic, start thinking about tricuspid procedures in order to uh, prevent the later complications. And that change makes a very big difference to patients' symptoms. The procedure is well tolerated and the recovery time is quick. So most people are out of hospital within 24 hours feeling a great deal better.